the two most common ways of representing graph is adjacency matrix and adjacency list listing all the vertices that are terminal vertices of edges we are representing this adjacency matrix by 0 and 1 so digraph is also called as directed graph Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyash from First Grade College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about Euler's graph. So today I will explain the next topic called representation of graph. So how to represent the graph? So you can represent a graph in many ways. The two most common ways of representing graph is adjacency matrix and adjacency list. Definitely there will be a problem on this topic. Write the adjacency matrix for a given graph or adjacency list for a given graph. So what is this adjacency list? Adjacency list of direct graph can be formed by listing all the vertices. Adjacency list of direct graph can be formed by listing all the vertices that are terminal vertices of edges starting at each vertex of the graph. In adjacency list, we are listing all the vertices that are terminal vertices of edges starting at each vertex of the graph. I will explain with an example. Example. V1, V2, V3 and V4. So this is one direct graph. So here we are listing all the vertices by using adjacency list concept. So now I will write the vertices. We have four vertices, right? V1, V2, V3 and V4. So now what is the adjacency list? It is very simple concept. Listing all the vertices that are terminal vertices of edges. Terminal vertices of edges. Example, here we have V1. Vertices V1 connected to V2 and V4. And it is not connected to V3, right? So, vertices V1 is connected to V2 and V4. So, vertices V1 adjacency list is V2 and V4. That's it. And Vertices V2, the adjacency list is V1, comma V3. And for V3, it is V2 and V4. For V4, V1 and V3. So this is called adjacency list. So I will explain one more example. So this is A. So here we have one directed graph. So now I will write the adjacency list. Vertices, how many vertices are there? A, B, C, D. Four vertices and adjacency list. Adjacency lists are for A, A is connected to B and again I will write one more edges here. So A is connected to B and C. So A is connected to B direction you can observe the direction A to B and A to C but not A to D it is D to A and it is not A to B it is B to A clear. So adjacency list for A is B and C and what about this B? B adjacency list is B to A and B to C. So A comma C and C adjacency list is only C. So adjacency list for C is only C because here we have self loop 
and it's not connected to B and D and also we have D. C to D and C to self loop. And next is D. So adjacency list is D to B and D to A. So A and B. So you can cross verify that A to B and C. B to A and C. C to D and self loop C. D to A and B. So this is your adjacency list. It is two marks question. They will give the graph. So you have to write the adjacency list. Next one we have adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix of a simple graph is denoted by A or AG. Adjacency matrix of a graph G with respect to number of vertices 1, 2, 3 up to n number of vertices. So this adjacency matrix you are representing in 0 and 1. We are representing this adjacency matrix by 0 and 1. A of I, J adjacency of row and column. I stands for row, J stands for column. 1 if I, J is an edge of G, otherwise it is 0. I will show you with an example. So here adjacency matrix. I hope you know about matrix representation, right? So rows and columns. It can be a 3 cross 3 matrix, 4 cross 4 matrix, etc. Now, this is one simple graph, right? V1, V2, V3 and V4. So now, what is the adjacency matrix for a given graph? So AG adjacency matrix. So in rows, I'll write V1, V2, V3, V4. And in column, I'll write V1, V2, V3, V4. So now what is the adjacency matrix? V1 is connected to V2. So I'll write 1. And V1 is connected to V4. Otherwise it is 0. And V2 is connected to V3, it is 1 and V2 is connected to 1, otherwise it is 0. V3 is V4 and V2, otherwise it is 0. V4 is V1 and V3, otherwise it is 0. So this is called as adjacency matrix, very simple concept. So if you get self loop, you can write the value of V1 to V1. If it is self loop, V1, V1 also 1. V2, V2 also you will get 1. Like that, you have to write the adjacency matrix. One more example. A, B, C and D. So now I'll write the adjacency matrix A, G equals A, B, C and D. Here A, B, C and D. A to A is not there. There is no self loop. And A to B is also not there. And A to C is there. A to C and A to D is 2. Because A to D and again A to D, there is two edges are connected, so it is true. And next is B, vertex B is connected to D, one edges and B is connected to C twice. B is not connected to B, it is 0, B is not connected to A, it is 0. So 0, 0, 2, 1. And again C is connected to C, so it is self loop 1. And C to B, C to B two times and C to A one time, C to D is not connected. And last one D, D is connected to A two times, D is connected to A two times and D is connected to B one time and D is not connected to C and D is not connected to D, no self loop. So this is your adjacency matrix. If there is no direction means you can write the adjacency matrix, right? So if they have mentioned the 
direction so easily you can example a to b c and d so so here they have mentioned the direction so easily you can write the adjacency matrix so as it is you have to write the adjacency matrix a b c d rows and columns so easily you can write the adjacency matrix representation here they have mentioned the direction so easily you can construct the matrix so this is called as adjacency matrix and adjacency list so easily you can score in this topic it is very important and easiest concept representation of graph so how to represent the graph by using adjacency matrix and adjacency list and some more example problems so the adjacency matrix of the following graph is the given graph 1 2 3 4 so here i'll mention the direction here we have four vertex adjacency matrix is 1 2 3 4 and again 1 2 3 4 so what is the adjacency matrix sometimes they will not give the directions if it is direction means so easily you can construct so 1 2 2 it is 1 and others are 0 and 2 2 3 2 2 3 is 1 otherwise it is 0 and 3 2 4 is 1 0 and 4 2 1 is 1 and other is this 0. So, this is your adjacency matrix for a given graph. Clear? And the next example, the adjacency matrix of the following graph is, so here they have mentioned the direction 1, 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, again 2, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 2, 1. Adjacency matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there is no self loop. 1 is connected to 2 and not 3 and not 4. It is 0. And again, 1, 2. And again, 2, 2, 4. Otherwise, it is 0, 0 and 0. And again, 3, 2, 4. 3 to 4 is 1 and 3 to 1, 3 to 1 and 3 to 4 and again 4 to 4 to 2 is 1 otherwise it is 0, 0. Clear? This is your adjacency matrix. Clear? And here we have undirected graph representation for adjacency matrix. So now you can observe the diagram. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices. So first write the rows and columns. So A is connected to B. So in place of A to B, you can write 1. And A is connected to C, you can write 1. And A is connected to D, you can write 1. Otherwise, it is 0. And B to A, B to D, B to E. B to A is 1, B to D is 1, B to E also 1. And C to A, C to D. C to A is 1, C to D is 1. And D to A, D to B, D to C, D to E. So, so everything is 1. And E is connected to B and D. So E to B is 1, E to D is 1. So here in D, we have self loop. So it is D is 1. So it is undirected graph representation, very easiest concept. So now I'll give some assignment question. Please practice this. 
write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. A, B, C, just D. So first question and the second question. Write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. And next example, A, B, C and D. And again, So this is another question. Please practice this three questions, assignment questions. Write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. If it is direction also no problem, without direction also no problem, you can easily write the adjacency matrix, clear? So write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. So these are the examples for undirected graph. And next one is directed graph representation. So here they have mentioned the direction. So digraph is also called as directed graph. Digraph means all the edges are directed from one vertex to another vertex. So this is an example for directed graph. So A to B, A to C and C to D, B to D and B to E, D to E and D to self loop. So how to write the adjacency matrix? So we have five vertices A, B, C, D, E and A, B, C, D, E. So A is connected to B, it is 1 and A to C, it is 1, otherwise it is 0. And B to E, B to E and B to D. And next is C, C to D only. And next is D, D to self loop and D to E. D to E, D to D and D to E and last one E. E to other direction is not there. There is no self loop also. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is an example for digraph or directed graph. So I'll give some assignment questions. Please practice this. So it is So write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. So here in digraph they have mentioned the direction. Clear? And next example and the next example. So write the adjacency matrix for a given graph. So this is an example for directed graph and these are the undirected graph. So very important question, please practice all the problems so easily you can score in representation of graphs. So graph can be represented in many ways. So the most important representation is adjacency matrix and adjacency list. So today you learned the concept of adjacency matrix and adjacency list that is the representation of graph. So in my next session I will come with a new concept called Hamilton path or Hamilton graph and circuit. Thank you.